Now, it wasn't that long ago I had kids around the house. Yeah, just this morning, wasn't it, Dad? Oh, yeah, yeah, you. Boing? <laughs> That's my uncle, Maya. Sweet, I would be your aunt. <laughs> Joshy! Honey! Come here. Uh. I love it up here. My brother? My brother. How is it possible we're brothers? Because it's a surprise! Stop doing that. Oh, Dad's so proud of himself. He gets into movies for like a quarter. <laughs> Uncle Josh. Riley. Uncle Josh. Um. I'm not your uncle, Maya. Even better. Um. It's, it's been a while. Sure has. Well, boy, you grew up gorgeous. You are not going to be my aunt. I can't hear you. Ba -da 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 -da. Maya. You do understand I'm too old for you. I do, Josh. I know that. Good. But I'm in it for the long game. <laughs> All right, weirdos. Listen up and listen up good. I got like a minute before he walks through the door. Who's coming through the door, Maya? Your Uncle Boeing. Oh, Maya, you gotta get off of this. Nope. The reason he's not interested is because I've been playing it all wrong. See, my strategy of turning into a total nut job at the mere sight of him ain't working out as planned. Maya, it's nothing you're doing, it's the age difference. Three years older. Your dad married your mom, he's like 20 years older. We're exactly the same age. What? I just need to be cash. How's this? <laughs> yeah, how's this? Hey, family! Yeah, hi, I don't care. My brother! My brother! So, Riley, shouldn't we be, like, heading to school now, since there's nothing here for me of any interest? Sure. Let's go. Think she'll make it out the door? I give her ten seconds before she jumps on his head. I came up here because I wanted to do this in front of all of you. I hold in my hand an envelope from New York University. Oh, are we stopping? I'm not stopping, I'm resting. What's in this envelope tells me where I'm going to be for the next four years. Oh, are we stopping? I'm not as young as I used to be. Good luck, Josh. Yeah, hi, I don't care. Is it just me, or is there a new maturity in Maya that I haven't seen before? I find it intriguing. Where will you be? <laughs> Hold on to your dignity, woman. Too late for that. Get off me, little ferret. Give it. It's my life. It affects me, too. Dear applicant boy. It doesn't say that. This year, we are only accepting married applicants. It doesn't say that. We regret to inform you that... I regret to inform me? We regret to inform you that you will be spending the next four years in New York with Maya! I got in. I got in! We got in. Congratulations, Josh. Yay! Yay! That Yay! annoys me! <laughs> Congratulations, buddy. I'm so proud of you. Thanks a lot, Corey. Hey. Hey. So, Maya, what do you see in this guy? How long have you had a crush on him? It's... Not a crush. It isn't. Maybe I'm not as old as you guys, but I know what I feel. Okay, I've never done anything like what you're doing. Yeah, it makes you pretty grown up to me. Just thought if I did something like this, and he might take me seriously, and maybe we could come to some kind of understanding. We have an understanding. I stay here, you go home. Sit down. Sit down. Okay. <laughs> I'm just stupid, right? Hey. I would love if somebody did something stupid for me. Yeah, it's not the big gestures that we do for other people that help us grow up, but the small choices you make for yourself. Oh. Maya told you guys about her crush. It's not a crush. Maya, can you name one thing you know about him that you love? He's part of your family, Riley. I love your family. We love you. What about Josh, in particular? Yeah, Maya, you don't... You don't even really know me. Yeah. You're right. 
I don't pay attention to anything you do. I don't know that you drive from Philadelphia to New York, not even looking if you got into NYU, just so you could open your acceptance letter in front of your older brother because you love him and you want him to be proud of you. And I see the way you are with Augie, a little kid who looks up to you, who you always have time for. And I know that even though you'd rather stay here with these girls, you're going to walk Riley and me home. Because that's just the kind of guy you are. I like you. Dude, what is wrong with you? <laughs> She's three years younger than me. Hey, kitties. Uncle Boing. <laughs> my brother. My brother. Hey, I come with news. Thank you, I'm good. <laughs> I'm joining the NYU pre-college program, so I'll be here all summer. Okay, I'm no good. I got you, honey. <laughs> Josh, would you do me a favor and explain to your niece that she is way too young to go out on her first date? Niece? Well, kept her so long. Welcome to the party, guys. Enjoy. Get out of my house! I'll go to the party with you, Josh. Still too old for you, Maya. Three years. What three years in the history of love? They found some caveman footprints, a man and a woman. They didn't know how old they were. All the scientists could tell was that they were holding hands. You know why? That was all that was important. Wow, Maya. Keep looking at me. Ooh, you know what's really important is I have my first appointment with my campus advisor downstairs. Then don't turn around. Okay, if you say not to, I won't. Let's go. Oh, wait, I forgot. I'm still me. You know what the best thing is about going out with Farkle? What? No matter what happens, I won't get hurt. Pulled that three years older thing on you, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I really put myself out there. No, oh, I'm sure I couldn't possibly identify with your pain. Cavemen, footprints, old hands. Hurts, doesn't it? A little bit, yeah. How do you deal with this? Well, me, I've got this dungeon of sadness. Oh yeah, yeah. You got me in there. Oh yeah, you and a whole flock of ballerinas. <laughs> Because the triangle is going to the great outdoors. So we are going to need some great chaperones. We got this completely under control, Matthews. My human nature is completely under control, and there's nothing or nobody who could ever change that. Hey, kiddies. <laughs> I'm wrong. Here we go. You're my chaperone. I invited him. I love you. I'm coming too. You cactus Pete, Huckleberry, horseback riding ranger, Rick, ha her, ha her, ha her, her. And she's back. And we're back on. Yeah, except for one other thing. Hey, Boeing has nothing to do with this, okay? He's just a fantasy. You don't go out with a fantasy. You only think about him all the time. What's the matter with you? Tell me what you know right now. I'm a lot younger than my brothers and my sister. So they won't have a relationship with you either? So I spent a lot of time just watching them. So far, we're still talking about you and me. Stop it. No. I've learned to be pretty good at observing people, understanding what's going on with them. You sure you're ready to hear this? Right now. Even if it was bad for me. Right now. What I observed about you is that you are the best friend anyone could ever have. And maybe it's because your dad left. Maybe it it's because you never felt that love. But it gave you the greatest capacity for love that I've ever seen. Say that again. Why, well, you didn't understand it? No, I understood it. Say it again. Say it 50 times. Say it in French. You heard me the first time. Thank you, Josh. Hey, why is this bad for you? That it isn't Lucas who you like, that you remember who you are now, I... That conversation is the most important part of any of the relationship, and that you and I just had another amazing one. Josh? What? Why have you let me hold on to your hand this entire time? I don't know. I don't know everything.
There isn't anybody else in this world. Because we're the perfect couple? No, because there isn't anybody else in this world. <laughs> Except for her, and she's with him. Hey, no, no, she's not with me. I'm older than her. That's even going to matter when everybody else is dead? Okay, maybe not if everybody else is dead. Wait a minute. So you're saying, when we get back to real life, all I gotta do is get rid of everybody else? My head's about them now. Wait a minute, seriously, all I have to do is get rid of everybody else? Yeah, that's it, that's, that's all you gotta do. What do you want? For me? I was just standing over there watching that whole thing. Yeah, we get it, you watch stuff. So what'd you think? I thought this. For me to ever think that I don't need a friend like you, in the world just because i'm a little older I, that'd make me a lot less mature than i want to be you know boy there are six weeks out of the year between our birthdays where we're only two years apart like oh i don't know right now so how about this we get to hold hands six weeks out of the year i'll take it we can do that or how about i like my deal better you once said you were playing the long game i like you josh it's you I like. I like you too. And I'd never want you not to be in my life. So, how about we try this? Boyfriend and girlfriend right now. No. Boyfriend and girlfriend eventually. You're not saying no. You have to say something. I'll play the long game. Live your life, I'll live my life. I know you're out there, and, and I'm out there, too. That's your deal? That's my deal. Someday. Someday. Let go. Someday. <laughs>